All right, we're back here on the back nine here at the Emporia Country Club here in Emporia, Kansas, getting ready for the 2022 World Championships. Jeremy Collin, Paul Uliberry, mm -hmm. our distinguished guest, Eagle McMahon, the guy who's just going after majors this year. I guess so, yep, that's, that's the plan. So far, you're one for two, so I'd say- Pretty good. Halfway successful. Halfway. Kind but uh, you could be 66% this week. That would be a dream. This is your first practice round this year. At yes. this course, uh -huh. you just got in yesterday. Correct. What do you think about the course so far? You know, it's playing good. Uh, you know, we're used to playing it with you know a lot, of really windy. Nothing's uh, greened up yet. Yeah. Um, you know, the the greens are a little bit slower, so you can kind of you know stick it where you want to. And um, you know, I think uh, the changes from what DDO looked like for me is yeah. uh, it's it's looking really nice. Yeah. Um, just a quick reminder. What you guys are used to seeing with our next day coverage at 10 a.m. Eastern time ain't going to happen at World's final round. We're going to push that to 10 p.m. because we want to show, we want to stream our next day live that we're going to be doing Paul's, Nate's, Germ's, special guest, Starframe. We're all going to be there doing that live stream at the Granada Theater. So be sure to check that out if you want to watch the earliest possible broadcast of that final round post-produced coverage. And you need to get an ace here to get back to perfect. That's right. Yeah, you can throw, you can dance my dog. Okay, hole 10, par 3, 330 feet. Same hole as DDO, except they have pushed the OB line that was right on the edge of the left side fairway out significantly. And they've also cleaned up the inside with a brush hog. It looks fantastic. The shot requires a very straight, slow turning backhand mid-range or putter or a forehand that doesn't really move much left doesn't move much right but you have to throw one pretty much dead straight if you want to get the birdie here look kind of good for a second you don't try to flex it out wide not anymore it's the fair was big now, it seems like. Miss that? Oh, it's so freaking good, dude. Woo! That is so good. Is that are you afraid of that going long? I mean, is there OB long? He doesn't know, he's never played the whole Oh. I mean if you my go bad. long, it's you're playing into a hill, so there's only so long you can See, go. See he does know the hole. He's never even played it, he knows the hole. I've, I've, I've he knows a lot of things. I've been here a lot of times. I think we all have. How old are you now, Eagle? 24. You're 24? Yeah. And we met you when you were, what, 16? And Ow! 17 out here. Uh-huh. But, but 2015? 2015, yeah. And Memorial, though. 2015 Memorial. Memor I was 16 there. That's when I met you. Yeah. You have to have a very technical sidearm to get it there. No, it's, I don't think it's an easy sidearm for most people. Because most people like to throw something with a lot of tail at the end of it. Not, uh -huh. Still, as, as good as people are getting a forehand, still not quite seeing the continuously flipping up. Yeah. Part. Oh, for it's sure. a lot wider. You know, like, the OB. People have it. Uh -huh. Jeremy, the OB is so far left. No, now. they moved it. So, you guys, your play is super viable. Yeah. I like your play a lot. You see those chains trying to get me? You show him who's boss, Paul. Ah uh ah. -uh. That's the best shot I've ever thrown. Nice. Nice. Just yesterday, I messaged McCabe about about there being some serious thorns and briars out here. They brought the brush hog, but they missed Next a couple one. things. Yeah. Sucks because I can't really, I can't do anything about this because it's yeah. on the course. Yeah. You bite it. Something to be careful of, some thorns about still inside bullseye. That was awesome. That's the best shot I've ever thrown. <laughs> I think so. Back to back best shots you've ever thrown. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hole 11, par three, 404 feet wide hyzer out of bounds left, which that cart path is, and deep, and the green a little bit deep right. Stockheiser, pump the brakes. 
I think I'm gonna wanna hop this right in. Yeah, I'm trying to visualize it's gonna go up. It might look a little deep, but then it's just gonna mm -hmm. kind of hop in. Oh, he did it before me. No, nope. kind of made aces not look cool. Oh, never mind. Parking. I'm coming for you. Parking, see Heiza. <laughs> I'm gonna go. You birdie it? Yeah. Too far? You got the first part right where it looks too far. The second part where it was the ace thing didn't happen. <laughs> no, it didn't skip. But you did exactly what it said you were going to do. Yeah, a little more height and maybe I could have got the skip. I Get like there. that, the stall. It's a big jump. Nice shot, buddy. Thanks. I'm gonna try that Should side try that? that Dickerson was talking about. Whoa! Go, baby! It's stalling. It's not gonna do it. Wait. Hey, what's going on over there? <laughs> That's just not doing it. Jim, it's getting a little breezy now, huh? Where? Oh, way out there, yeah. Don't you think it's getting a little breezy? Uh, I mean, it's, it's Picking like- Picking up? It's like- well. Did you know? Oh, okay. I see it's a did, setup. <laughs> did you know that the fastest wind ever recorded in Kansas is 109 miles per hour? <laughs> My God. Was that DDO this year? But it's, it, it's interesting because 109 miles per hour per feet per second ah. is 159 feet 0.8 per second. That's like Usain Bolt numbers. <laughs> That's fast. I'm pretty sure Usain Bolt could run faster than 100 mile, nine miles an hour. No, feet per second is the thing. So you got us like math whiz understand that right. the feet per second. Right. But all that I'm trying to tell you guys is okay. when it gets windy out here, yeah. it's speedy. <laughs> <laughs> what character is that? Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. Say what? Monkey D. Surf Luffy two. from One Piece. Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. Yeah. All right. Surf if you know, somewhere. you know. One Punch Man's the only anime I've ever watched. Okay. It's definitely one of the more popular animes, for sure. It's so good. It's making fun of itself without making fun of itself. Uh, yeah. It's, it's like subtle, mm -hmm. but authentic, but also really entertaining and funny. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah, bro. Right. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Bird, number okay, new hole. Number nine, actually. Hey everyone, I want to talk to you real quick about the Disc Member Monthly Disc Golf Box. Disc Member is the essential subscription package for every disc golfer. Get new releases before they're available to the public, limited run stamps, and exclusive plastics delivered to your door monthly. Every package comes with $40 or more of discs and merch for only $29.99 per month. Plus, every subscription comes with Disc Store Insider, a $100 value for free, and a free UDisc subscription. So go to discmember.com or click the link in the description to sign up. There are limited spots available, so become a Disc Member today. All right, we're out here on hole 12. It's a par three, 400 feet, and just looking at it for the first time, you have out of bounds all on the right side, and they really want to tempt you by going for the pin, but I think you have about a 400 to 420 foot out of bounds carry. So one of the good options is to play the left side, kind of play it as a par, um, a par four, even though it is a three. Um, I think three is really good on this hole. This hole could be a round crusher. So you want to be mindful of that. You got such beautiful teeth. <laughs> Oof. Man. I had a thing called a can opener. This one stuck out like this, and I call it my can opener because I got tink. <laughs> no joke, my sister's big present for Christmas three years in a row was braces. She never got braces. It was pretty sad. Aw. Yeah, she really wanted them. That's actually a sad story. Wait, wait, wait. Are you laying up while going for it? Kind of. I, think I was a, thinking I think about this. Anhe Anheuser might be. Because then you oh. get the four. Yeah. I like that a lot, actually, now that I look at it. Wow, you're really good.
good at disc golf. That's what I know about you. Yeah. I think I like that. Yeah. That's it gives superior. me a putt and also superior stuff. I don't think there. I can do that. It's a long carry. <laughs> I just looked that over makes, the shot, dude. It makes the hole a lot really longer. Good. Big shot. 450? Dude, four it's yeah. every bit of a 430 as far as how it plays to this clear. It's like 10 at US. Total. Yeah. Yep. I think, I think that's kind of what they've done here. They've yeah. created a yeah. whole 10 at US. <clears throat> Except it's a part three. That's good. That is real tasty stuff. Big boy. I'm getting a little power back, you know? That's good. I wouldn't necessarily say you're old. You just played disc golf for long time. 20 years. I'm still playing. I actually have to play my best. You're still you me. could go up. No, I wouldn't do that. Okay. There's no drops in. Oh no, I'm out of bounds again? We caught him. Dang, that's supposed to be the safe play. All right, at least I get to clear a bunch of space though. For the percentage of people that are gonna go for this. Probably half or more, probably more than half, probably 60%. I don't even know what this layup looks like though is the thing. I think it's a tough layup because then you have all these trees I mean, it could be a round runer, without a doubt. Sit, please. All right. The safe play for me would be to go with more overstable. This, this is my more seasoned boss. But basically play back to as if you were playing the par three. And I, I don't think that there's really any question on whether or not I'll be trying to do that come tournament round. You're just risking too much to only gain a stroke versus the safe play should net you a pretty, should be a pretty safe three. No. Ah, I'll be laying that Is up. Is that not what you did the first time? Did you not go for it at first? I did. Okay, and then you played a safe one out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it just isn't. I don't think the risk is worth the reward. I threw, or the it, rewards I worth threw the it too low. If I throw it higher, I'm in for sure. But I yeah, mean, it's just a like. Six, a six sets you back it's so bad. Yeah. So bad. And this is your hyzer? Yeah. Yeah. So in the end, you're going to stick with that play though? The ante, I, I'm going to highly consider it. It really depends on the wind. Ouch, that six hurt. But it's just a reminder any hole at Emporia Country Club can get you, especially 12. I think it's gonna be one of the harder holes on the course with people getting greedy. Anyways, we're on the hole 13 now, 397 foot par three. Again, there's out of bounds, it tempts you into throwing that big Anheuser shot, but that sidewalk is really close to the basket on the left side, or down the right side. The left side is a little bit more open, but the grass doesn't wanna skip much. So if a player does wanna go down the left side with the sidearm, you're gonna to have to air it most of the way there, but the only way to really birdie this hole consistently is a very mildly turning fairway driver thrown that barely over the path that just gets back in. I think just playing a, like you used to play to the old par three and then pitching up. That's such a hard shot to get to. I know. No. I'm going to do what I do. Easier said than done. Short sidearm and then flex sidearm. Yeah. Four is not going to kill you. Oh, I'll be taking, I'll be so happy with a three. Oh, wow. I'd be twice as happy with the three right now. <laughs> That's terrible. <clears throat> so close. Now it just needs to avoid the big. Oh, nice. Wow, it doesn't what? skip. That was. I gotta sick. remember, it doesn't nice really skip, skip out here. Go in. Oh, good shot, Jim. Oh, insane shot. Yeah, I'm gonna say hot round here, 10 to 12. I don't know about Jones yet, I haven't practiced it in the conditions that we have, but I don't know if we're gonna have all days super windy. I don't think that's gonna be the case, which if that is true, should expect weather like this, maybe a couple mile an hour higher. 
anything better than a four here, four better is great round. When I try to yank over Anheuser, my, my body physically doesn't want to do it. I, I feel like I can throw rollers well, uh -huh. but I don't know how to throw stable disc Anheuser. And don't you throw fan grip trust. on all your distance? Yes. I think that's a reason Power why. grip type of thing? Yeah. Okay. And I don't know, I just think with your wingspan, it's really hard to like finesse a disc like that because you have so much yeah. energy moving in totally. a certain direction. It's a weird thing how power can be like an issue. Yeah. Like if you have the power to, to go for things to like try to check up a throw, it's not easy to not throw. Like it's really hard for like Paul with his size to have a crazy amount of off axis torque. Which, which Paul? Um, Macbeth. Okay. Or even Yuli. It's like yeah. hard to get that much like energy moving, you know, left to right. Uh-huh. Like I, I even have problems with it sometimes just cause. What, creating energy? Or no, like, you know, if I, if I try to do like a flex shot or something or throw yeah. a certain shot that's, quote, easy for some other people, mm -hmm. it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right to me for whatever reason. Uh. Going. Nice shot, dude. Good effort. Stay up. Great pot. Stripe show. That turns that six into a five <laughs> real quick. Stayed up. Dummy. Hole 14, 975 feet, par five now. T-pad has changed. They moved it left just a little bit. Same fairway we played before. Down a rolling hill, out of bounds left, out of bounds right into the houses. Don't know how it's gonna play. Let's check it out right now with two of the best in the world. Dude, why are you talking about the whole tee pad changing? What do you mean? Why'd you bring it up? Because it changed it to a par five. Oh, smart. <laughs> on my toes. <laughs> That's thinking on your toes right there, boys and girls. It's me, right? Yep. I'm underlining play four, three on hole 12. <laughs> There's no need to try to do anything silly. Mm -hmm. I'll write down 13 in a second. I don't know what to do here. This becomes more of a must get, whereas yeah. the par four there was a total bonus. And you need yeah. to play that one. That one was so hard. Oh, so, yeah. So, so hard. I actually think that the, the hole would be best if the tee pad were maybe even another 30, 40 feet back, and we just yeah. played to the original par four pin. As, a, as a four? or As a par four. Yeah. Good shot, buddy. Thank you. Nice. Playing hazards this week. Oh, that's perfect little rollout. Okay, let's see here. Oh, not the backwards Philberg roller. That's almost the same thing. James and I threw intentional rollers, not those <laughs> silly ones that happened. Um, and they looked so great going down the hill. They turned around and literally started rolling backwards. Something about this hole. I've seen it happen a lot on it. I remember it happening to Felberg when I played with him. <clears throat> they had a existential oh, crisis. On. I know oh. it's flippy. I know it's flippy. Let's go. Come on. Yep. That's what you want to see right there. That's boom sauce. And don't do that turnaround thing that they sometimes do. Quit recording it. Is it doing it, dude? I'm telling you. Let's go. Wow. I, I will, I'll tell you right now, Paul, in my estimation, if that's just your play to get down the fairway, great. But you don't need that much distance. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. This one, the air. Yeah, I think I really think this is just a matter of just stay in bounds, two shots, and the third shot should be inside 200. We don't have anybody. Delicious. Sit nice. Down. Oh wow. Okay. That's what. Is that, that's not a tactic, is it? No, it's a okay. MD3. Uh, Jerm. Yeah. 
if you're having a bad round out here and you get to this hole, yeah. just look over to your right on top of the roof and remember it could be worse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. I was, like, I was like, did they do a bad shingling job? What happened? Oh, okay. That's, that's a bad day. <laughs> that's, that's way off course. How did that happen? I don't. That is not, that's not achieving the if, intended goal. If anybody saw this shot, please in the comments post of what happened. Cause I'm very tell curious. Us story. Please tell us a story. Cause it, ha it has uh, to be a second shot. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It, it is like too far in a headwind, but if this were calm wind, this would be like tempting for the likes of the you. No. No, this, this really isn't that tempting to It's me. not tempting? No. Well, we're probably like 540-ish, maybe a little bit less. Yeah. Oh, germ, did I just go OB? No, I didn't, but I'm in a bad spot because that's completely blind. I mean, it's short, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we want to push that approach right make that approach shot just absolutely a gimme. This is gonna be probably, if it's calm, probably the easiest hole in the course is my guess. Would you, you think the same? As I, would, I, would, I would say so. And it was, it was actually the hardest hole back at DDO when it was a par four. Didn't have a super high over par average. Actually, I don't, I'm not 100% I'm not certain if this was the hardest hole at DDO, but it was, I think one round it might've been. This is your drive, whoa. Yeah. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah, I think Eagle's away, dude. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> this is changing my perspective dude, on that's everything. A that's a nasty, nasty, nasty drive. 382. That was into a headwind, too. Mm-hmm. 382. Still into a bit of a headwind. Dang, what a shot, man. That's big. Come on, miss it. Miss it. No! Huh. Safe? Yeah, Maybe? Be parts, I, think. I don't think it's safe. Oh my God. That was such a nasty little. Just the fingers. A little twiz. A little twizzy. Should have aimed a little more left. What were you throwing there? That was a vulture. The vulch? Mm hmm. Not Stabes Hogs? Ah, uh, straight. What's yeah, the environment this, around the basket? Where's the out of bounds? Here. I don't know. The approach slopes away, and so it really makes you question your, the pace on your shot. Oh, sorry. Yep. That should be good. I feel like I want a little more distance. I'm gonna throw right over top of your wing. You should be good. The, <laughs> that's probably 150 from the wall. <laughs> hit it. Well, at least we're in bounds. Barely. Looks perfect. Thanks. I think it looks good. But in a way, I don't, I don't mind having, <laughs> let me rephrase this. Everything doesn't I have to be hard. I think it's a good thing to have eagleable holes. To yeah. have the, the tension with the player to consider the option of going for it. For sure. Because it takes, it's, you know, while it's doable, it still takes two great shots. Yeah. Oh. And give you some momentum you coming down the stretch. That was for Eags? Yeah. Oh! Twizzle, you don't gotta worry about going deep, really. She wanna be putting back up at this thing. Nice. It's a very eagle looking putt. Just center. The center, center perfect pace. Catch two. That was terrible. I didn't. I if I should have spun it. Here, look, I, let me do better. That. Catch two. 
Ah. No, Eagle, that one's on you. That was on me. We're on to hole number 15, 439 feet, par three. The ideal play is a right-handed, backhanded hyzer out to the right and just have the stability of the disc bring you back left. You have out of bounds. It's, it's essentially an island. If you go out of bounds at all, I believe it all OB proceeds to the drop zone. So this one's pretty crucial to uh, get safe. Is it far enough? Go, run, 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 oh, that's run money. away. Oh, no, do. skip. That was a little bit weak. Yeah, but that's poofy. It still usually skips right there. Okay. Oh, yeah, totally. Check. Yeah, that was a... Uh... Maybe not nervous. So yeah, you gotta you gotta carry a little bit more. That's good yep. to know. Oh, oh yuck! No. I think I just oh Gosh, that didn't do the bad, bad. thing. Bad. No. Okay. Just in the good thing. Yuck. Oh, that was weak. Timing was so bad. This is, this, you just gotta drop a freaking hyzer on it. I don't, there's just no that excuse. That was just really this. bad timing. God, over the sidewalk, Jules, you've lost it. Oh, oh. I caught him, but oh. you risked everything for such a little gain. Man, that came up so lame and short. There's just no need to come up short on this hole. Oh, you don't do it. Thank you. That's a musket. Musket. 14, 15 in the calm is, it has to be birdie, birdie alley. I mean, even if it's windy, this is a musket. I feel uh, like. Back bag, yes, correct. Hole 16, we're here, the famous island hole at the ECC, 320 feet from here to that basket. To get in bounds, it's probably 310, very close to OB on the front side. There is that back wall to keep discs from going out of bounds on the back side. The play is to just drive something into that if you can, give yourself that scary death putt, make a decision once you get up there. Very important that you have a disc that you love on this tee, that you love to not worry about throwing in the water. Because <laughs> that might be where it goes. I think in 2012, I came to this hole. 10 years ago. And wow. Will Schustrick and Macbeth were tied. One stroke ahead of me. They both, and we were playing from that tee. Right there. Right there. They both missed the island because it was crazy windy. And it was hole 18 at the time. So I had a chance to, if I land on and get the birdie, I win. And I threw it to the left side, hit on top and went straight OB. No. I had a chance to win the GBL. I freaking didn't, but to be all honest, it took me 10 years to admit this. I pulled it. I pulled it just, <laughs> I felt it. I pulled hey, it just a smidge. Truth will set you free, my friend. <laughs> I've said it before in the last couple of years, but okay, right. I pulled it. All right, here we go. It was a bad break. Is it my box? Yes. Yeah. Because yes. yeah. no one birdied 15, yeah? Mm -mm. No. Nope. I'm close. No one birdied the musket. The two muskets. Woo! Here's all right, a little headwind. Now a lot of headwind. <laughs> your turn. <laughs> My turn, right? Wow. My turn or your turn? Yeah, I'll go. No one got 15, huh? Uh -uh. Okay, crazy. <laughs> all right. Did we do the whole breakdown already? Oh, we did? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll stop stalling. I have to throw my gum in and a little basket's it. I'm out. <laughs> Probably killed the fish. That was well, nice. that was a nice disc while it lasted. No, 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 dig. Is it you, Eags? I don't know, is it? I think it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... 
I'm probably gonna make this in the hole and beat it, beat it to one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is actually a perfect disc for this. I can aim at the right flags. It'll never freaking do anything but go on the island. I feel like, kind of like that, but uh, with a really fast disc. Is that? Slow down, dude. Really? Yeah, it down, will. Dude. It will. Yep. Oh, baby. That was ridiculous. That's not what I was hoping for. <laughs> what disc is that? MD3. Okay, so uh, it's not like a crazy overstable putter. Get! Get! Oh, it's getting. Oh! <laughs> I just didn't give it any height. It just, it was up, down. Let me have that uh, blue, the blue raptor right there. How about you trust it? once in your entire life. The blue raptor, no, no, light blue. It's on the end, the new one. Oh, the new guy. Okay, I'll grab it. You know what, there it is, it, we got it. I'm fairly certain that the feather banners make it sound windier than it is. Do you ever feel that way? Like the sound of it's more intimidating than the actual wind? I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. Maybe Not to me. It, feels, it just feels windy to me. <laughs> All right, cool, just making sure. <laughs> Quit stalling. That could be good. That should be great. That's what you need to do. Yep. Trust it at left. That's the one thing I don't do on this hole well. I don't trust it left. I need a little Anheuser maybe. A little flexy. Like kind of flat to Annie. Oh. Oh. Come on, little guy. When that guy get there? You're gonna get killed by me. Come on. You're creepy. Paul, don't, don't lose your patience and kill him. You're creepy. There you go. No. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> Come on. It's a safe platform. This is a safe space. Oh, God. Paul, don't do it. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> yeah, that was the perfect type of stall. Wait, might even hit it hard enough to get a little rollback. Like Walmart, dude. Just re in here. Dang it, Paul! I know, you, you ruined it. <laughs> but you can make it. Gosh! Like, like uh, Saki. Stupid... Islands? Round, no, it, it's called a round of disc golf. It's not a, a, a crescent of disc golf. We don't play... Oh, dude. We live in a I round play world. Of disc golf. I do we a play nice a round half, of disc golf. We throw round the frisbees. And the other half it's all is connected. burnt somehow. I don't know how I do it. It's like a kind of a hippie thing to say, right? That's true. Yeah, we drive around. Uh -huh. Around on round wheels. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that your sick will reach that. I don't think. Yeah, I got yes, yes, yes it will. Absolutely. Quick, Brad! Brad, run, quick! Yeah! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just watched a movie about this. Uh... There's no way. Brad, it extends more than that. Yeah, bro. Is it? Quick! No, no, not at the top! No, Brad, why would you do that? It's a tough one for me to watch. <laughs> I should have gone, dude. I got the long arms. I would have cried. No, come here. I love that disc. No, we'll get it back, buddy. We're not getting that back. Yeah, we'll get it back. Brad, why would you dunk it? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah, but still, when something's floating, you don't go whack on the top of it. <laughs> That's a tough one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he just walked it. over and went, wham! A little dramatic, but that's what I felt like he did. Oh boy. That's what, he's like, that's what I did, I think. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. Best part about this, makes the putt from the back wall so much easier.
No! What the heck is going on here? <laughs> hey, here, I'm going to reenact what I just saw from Brad. Let me see this. <laughs> Ready? Here's Brad. Oh, please don't smack it hard. Please don't. <laughs> oh no! And I still got it! <laughs> I'm probably just gonna lay up. Oh my gosh, I, did I just watch it. that actually happen? Did he really just smack I need it the, on top? I, I need the putter. <laughs> he did, huh? You can't risk losing it. Very important decision that you made there. What are you at, Eagle? I think I'm at, I have to think. You could have caught him. You're at what? Let me think. I'm at six. Yeah, you needed to make that, he's at eight. Well, he's. It's seven now. He's at seven now, it's still time. Yeah. It's still time. Yep, no doubt. Doesn't count, but I'm still gonna make it. I should have grabbed a junky putter. <laughs> <laughs> Get in. Hole 17, par four. 745 feet, out of bounds left, out of bounds right. Don't hit the top of the disc, otherwise it'll float to the bottom of the damn pond. <laughs> there's, no on the there's no water on know. the hole. <laughs> yeah, the OB, is, there's no longer OB on the left. It's still pretty much what it was before on the right. There's no OB on the left? Not no, happy. yeah, they took it out for DDO this year. Yeah, that's new for you. Oh, wow. Cool. Which I think is a great change. I think you're already, that kind of runs into that double penalty thing that we were talking mm -hmm. about earlier. I agree. I think that it's really nice. If, if you go left, you're already kind of in trouble. Well, it's uh. about a foot higher from being really, really good though. Maybe two feet higher. Uh. It's a foot lower from being really good. Yeah, it drove me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I gotta go force over. I kinda wanna go over stable to try to mitigate the less ceiling. Not throwing the flip up yeah. so tight. So good. Smack, dude. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, almost got him. <laughs> no, that's Kev. Kev's learning, give the, give the big man space is what he's learning. I don't think we're allowed to go in the ponds, no. What? For reals? Yeah, never allowed to go in. It's like a rule. Huh, well that's Cause a rule I've seen broken. Bunches of times. I broke it yesterday. Bunches of times. I've broken so many rules. I don't think you're allowed to drown your caddy in a pond either. <laughs> Is that against the rules? No. Go find it. Hey, come let me help you. Your <laughs> in the pond. Got it. That's, I'll write that down. I'll, I might forget that. Oh, don't. It, I'm kidding, people. One, one more shot at we do not condone murders. Yeah, you haven't you haven't drowned a caddy in the pond in what 15 years. <laughs> All right, I need to start getting serious about what this is not lead. serious, Eagle. No, it's, it's about this it's going to be serious starting serious now. Practice rounds. <laughs> leave a comment in the bottom if you disagree, or if you do agree, or just leave a comment in the bottom, or don't. Those are the four options. <laughs> oh, he's landing that in the Anheuser position. Oh boy. I remember, I'm remembering GVO or DDO from a while back, and I was here, and I decided that it was a good idea to throw a putter. I don't know why. To go for it with uh, Yeah, the it, was, it was a terrible shot. I don't know why this came to me just now. Maybe because you're lining the same idea up, but with a fast disc? Let's 
great. Your skill is uh, in the high ranked category. <laughs> Go in. Oh, oh God, dude, that was sweet. Did you hit the tree? You're a, you're a quality thrower of the disc, my friend. <laughs> Gracias. I actually think a flick roller would be a phenomenal shot. That's it. risking He's every single thing. He's saying that a flick thing. roller would be a phenomenal shot. This is where you Jules, agree. What I like earth. it. What? I like it. I like it. Flick roller? Yeah. yeah. Why is Josh smiling and you're not? Do it. What? Why is everyone being all like the way you're being? Just get it to the right. Why did you no, give it away, Josh? I don't, I don't like that they <laughs> that like me perfect. doing the risky shot. I'm going to throw it for a second shot, and I'm going to show you why my instincts told me it was a good idea. I'm going to do the smart, safe thing, and I'm going to try to do it smart and safely. <laughs> You're such a dumb head. You're such a dumb Flick head. roller, I told you. You're such a dummy. Oh, no, 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 I wanna try it again. I wanna try it again. This is gonna work, I can tell, because it's so stupid. <laughs> this would be a place where you might have to decide just take the bogey because the the likelihood of getting up and down from here is like what? It's not great. Forehand roller. Forehand roller, <laughs> yeah, right. Just the angle of this tree here is so sidearm roller. All right. Eagle just won. Another sidearm roller. It's gonna work. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> well, Brad, I would use my stable what was vulture. That, dude? No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. Uh, like, uh, but, uh, cut roller that moved left. Pretty sure you, you hammer right? fisted yeah. it in the bottom of the lake over there. I'm gonna freaking drop to six now. Gosh. <clears throat> I'll write it down in a second. I won't forget. And that's why I would use the vulture. Yep, 15, 16, 17 all at once. <sighs> got a chance. Drop. Oh my gosh. What? Second. Second putt. Oh. Oh. Probably no cameras on that one. I'd like to just play that one. <laughs> Please. Oh my gosh. Very Bye. good putt. Thank you. Are we tied now? I think we're tied. <laughs> You've had the craziest round ever, and I've just had like a birdie <laughs> a normal here, round a birdie that a there. Professional plays. All right, the final hole, hole number 18, par four, 691 feet. Wind is ripping right now, but the shot itself. You want to pipe something over the water, land flat. Distance is good here because it opens up the, uh, the alleyway uh, to take to get to the basket, or you can opt to play a little bit shorter to give yourself a look over the water to take a hyzer. This, one, um, this one's really tough coming down the stretch, and this is going to be the hole that crowns the world champion. So exciting stuff here on 18. Unless there's a 
Playoff. Unless there's a playoff. <laughs> All right. Fun, dude. Thanks for yeah. joining us today, Eagle. Yeah. What, what an honor, man. Thank you for joining us. Happy to be. Yuli, thanks for joining us, dude. Happy to be invited. Wow. Uh, we, we bogeyed? Uh, we or did you par? I, I parred. All right. There's a lot of pressure right now. Oh my gosh, what a freaking shot, dude. Oh my god. Woo! Yeah, and this headwind, you couldn't walk <laughs> I, up there and put it in a better spot. I, I couldn't have. That's, That's so crazy. good. Crazy. That's great, too. Yeah. Just don't do the fade thing. Not much of it, at least. That's money. Big arm, jeez. Nice shot, dude. Thank you. Smacking him around. I think I just got a lucky lift. <laughs> <laughs> like a heat lift. <laughs> Boy, it's light. Never thrown it. I'm hoping it flies like that one, but I don't think it will. I think it's a little more flippy. Nice. Nice, Jerm. Money, dude. Very good. Love that disc, dude. Is that your tour series disc? It's the second tour series disc. The star team did two tour series. Hey, what's up, Connor? Tour series, uh, the star team did two tour series discs this year. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So I did the uh, transitional star Thunderbird and then the idea for the Halo Boss happened at OCB when so you got the Thunderbird, that, and then you also got the AVRX3, right? It's signature AVRX3, okay. yeah. It's been an incredible year. I'm not gonna, I, I have to pinch myself and just, it's pretty amazing. Now that's really cool that Star Team gets two. Yeah, that was a new thing uh -huh. they implemented this year. It was, I think that, I think that's great because it kind of, otherwise it kind of, the tour team gets gets a disc, right? So it kind of yes, sets, yeah, right. sets you apart. It, it, it's a little bit more of an uh -huh. incentive. Yeah, it's a great thing. And thank you guys for supporting it when you do. It's you, you have no idea how important it is for us to have that source of income coming in to continue being out here on the road. Yeah, it's it's not about the tournament winnings. Yeah, I mean it it can be if you're winning eighty thousand dollars a year, but if you are, you probably also got some pretty well, good things. Usually, going if you're on. winning eighty thousand dollars a year, you're probably <laughs> gonna have a few signature discs too. <laughs> it was a random person that I ended up getting a disc from somebody who was selling it for like five bucks in Michigan. And apparently he must have left it on one of the courses out there. And I'm like, I didn't even notice that it had his name on it. And I just saw that it was a four claw. So I got it, started throwing it, loved it, threw it on coverage. He then messaged me and is like, hey, that's my disc. I want that back. So of course I was like, yeah, man, my bad. Told him I got it from the person, threw it a couple more times. And then I messaged him and I was like, hey, this is like my favorite disc ever. Like, what can I do to get this? And so I'm sending him a nice care package with four or five discs and now it's mine. DC is scary, but I'm also thinking like spike sidearm, maybe. Yeah, because it doesn't, it wants to go boink. Yeah, I was just saying. It's kind of got the soft top, so when it comes in on the angle, it doesn't want to jump. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to say, I'm not going to pretend like it's not scary. It's a frightening shot to throw. Jeez, I'm like eagle distance. <laughs> no, this is very far. Actually, I just watched this in the, uh, the, the Fierce documentary. There's no way to practice feelings. I just like almost cried thinking about that when I was watching that movie. It's just like so powerful because you can practice the shots, but when you get to the spot, Knowing what you're gonna do allows you to prepare for the moment. All you can do is just hope that you can possibly be in that moment. 310. That Almost great. in. Wow. That was really Coming. good. That looked great.
<clears throat> Isn't the wind supposed to drop that? <laughs> caddies aren't people, they're caddies. I remember I, I had a, a caddy asked to be a part of my, um, my round unplanned going into a round in, uh, at the Augusta tournament. And Terry, I'll let, I'll let Eagle throw a shot. We'll, I'll tell the story while we're walking. Oh no. Oh. Go. So, uh oh. We're going down the fairway the of hole one. Wow. And the guy said, So, what do you need for me today yeah. as a cat? Oh, yeah, a barn and burner uh, here, it's folks. It's an old saying. I think it's an old saying. Paul, have you heard this before? The, the, the three ups for caddies? Yep. Show up, keep up, and shut up. And the, so I, I said that in a joking tone, of course, because I don't really mean shut up, dude. Like, I'm there for conversation. But Terry Miller caught that part of it without the context of the guy asking me and without the finishing part afterwards of us both smiling and laughing. But it was in the video. And I remember the, the after effect was just like this, like, God, I, I didn't know Jerm was so mean to his caddies. Like, why would the guy even, like, why would he even do it? Oh, let's go. Yay. Oh, I'm much closer than I thought I was. Yeah, uh, total. me too. Okay, right to left. Eagle, is it going to lift it pretty good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Told ya. He just went from third place to eighth place. Nuh-uh, because if I was in third place, I would have laid it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was the tie for the win. And nobody's playing on our card. That's what I'm saying, you're in third place. So I guess you just felt like the third. All right, this is an important putt. I'm gonna re-putt. I'm gonna ice you. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna ice you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to say it out loud. At least you didn't big putt me. <laughs> I three putted you? Is that a thing? <laughs> oh. If I had to sit here in the world championships based on you making that putt and me being under the basket and you making that, I think my heart gets ripped out of my chest. Oh my god. That was a good putt, dude. It was it danced on the rim for a second. I probably would have taken a courtesy warning and just like jumped out a little bit at oh. just, just one courtesy warning at the end doesn't hurt. Yeah. I don't know. You get <laughs> the little title. You sure you want to make that putt? Sweet. Seven under with twelve birdies. Seven hundred with seven birdies. <laughs> <laughs> Bogey free? Bogey free. That's great. That's great. There's two different ways to get it done. Yeah, no doubt. Okay, that, that does it. It that does. does it. That's 18 holes here at the Emporia Country Club. Practice round in the books. Paul, how you feeling? Pretty good. Eagle? Great. Yeah? Yeah. I, I came back and tied you. That was the goal. Well, seven under is going to take the split for the win here, which is an overall great round. Mm -hmm. You'd like to do it without the five bogey strokes, <laughs> I think. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, overall, you take that score. You're happy with that here at ECC. Oh, definitely. Seven to 11 is going to be in that range, mm -hmm. keeping you in the mix, I think. Yeah, you'll definitely be competitive with a seven. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, we played two courses this week. Joan Supreme, which has just a few minor changes, not really much. Mm -hmm. This course has more major changes, but it's... Just a couple of holes, really. Yeah, the integrity is still here of Country Club, Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. So this place is going to be super dictated by the wind, mm -hmm. and uh, it's going to be a great week. 109 miles an hour. <laughs> Very hot out here, for sure. 109 mile an hour wind with 104 feet per second. 158. Usain Bolt speeds out here. 59.8. Coverage is going to begin Wednesday. We start Worlds Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Five days, five rounds, we're gonna go Jones, Emporia, Jones, Emporia, and then the final cut will play here for the final round.
to crown the 2022 world champion. Don't forget about our next day live post-produced. It's gonna be something else. I don't even know what's really gonna happen. I just keep hearing about cool, exciting new things all the time. Paul's gonna bring a game for there for so sure. So many games. That's gonna wrap it up for us here in Emporia, but quickly since Eagle and I tied, we're gonna do our little split 250, mm -hmm. 250. I'm gonna go ahead and kick in our money to the, uh, the GoFundMe that Emerson has going with their child. They're having some complications mm -hmm. in the hospital. So we're gonna kick in 250 here, and I think you said you were gonna do the uh, same. Yeah, I'd like to do the same. You know, 250 going to Emerson, I think is a good cause. Keith family, you got 500 coming in. Link, link's gonna be in the description, so. Yep, help I'm, them out. I'm gonna put, put in 250 of my own as well. Awesome. Oh, that's sweet, dude. Hey, good dude. Yeah, good playing you, with you guys. You guys do it too. Good playing with you guys. All right, man. Cool. Best, of Luke, best of luck at Worlds. Best Luke's. Best Luke's at Worlds. And we'll see you guys this Wednesday. Peace.